Hot today, Nick Delgado coming to you from the AB Wampet International Airport as we monitor Typhoon Wutub making its way past the Marianas. Of course, as of midday Saturday, island placed in condition of readiness one. That means all of the residents were urged to stay indoors. A lot of delays and cancellations happening here at the airport. We see on the screen here that was the result, and many of those travelers, of course, opting to stay inside their hotels and here on the island until conditions better. But the storm by late this afternoon was tracking about 200 miles south southwest of the island. We saw the uh, acting governor, Josh Tenorio, making his way at some of the local shelters. Several schools being tapped to serve as shelters for more than 100 shelterees. He provided bottled water along with the Department of Education superintendent. Uh, we saw uh, our teams, of course, scouring the island throughout the day, showing you videos and clips you'll see on our social media sites right now of just the floods and the government crews that have been going out working to secure the uh, power lines and, and the debris that might have been there as well. Again, the storm brought a lot of heavy rainfall and wind, mostly for the southern villages, uh, but several public schools, again, will be continued to use as the shelters as, as the storm continues to move further on. Guam Homeland Security Office of Civil Defense providing us updates throughout the day and the, monitoring the conditions of this storm. Of course, National Weather Service officials early on providing some hope as well, saying that we might have seen the worst of it thus far. You can take a look at all of the videos and clips as well as the latest updates and closures and power outages, of course, on KUM social media platforms as well as KUM.com. We'll send it back to you for now.